Hey, what's up everyone? This is Black Hole. Yeah, I'm just kidding. This is Wicked Android HD. As always, tonight I'll make a review on uh, a new Marshmallow build. This time it is official. I know you guys saw my latest video regarding uh, a release that was uh, posted uh, by Antares One on XDA Thread and I uh, did a review as fast as possible. But right now he released a, an ASP based uh, Android 6.0 Marshmallow ROM. So this is an ASP uh, variant of the Marshmallow ROM. You will find it on the in the XDA uh, link right down below. Sorry, I'm uh, kind of tired. Well, I'll try and keep concentrated while I'm doing this review. So first of all, let's take a look at the battery percentage. So 57%. We'll see how much it eats uh, during this uh, review. And uh, let me show you, sorry, everything about this ROM. So Android version 6.0 is always marshmallow. Come on, come on. Okay, so marshmallow, and uh, it's running ASP kernel made by Atari Swan, and uh, it's as I told you ASP. Of course, made by a terrorist one developer, famous developer on XDA. So, thumbs up for him. All credits go to him for this ROM and his team. Okay. So, um, first of all, I'm gonna talk about the box and then I'll get into the standard review that I always make. So, box, camera. When I open up the camera, again, again, the same, same box that you would. Uh, I take a look at this out so if I take a picture of it and if I go here you will see the picture rotated and cropped which means you can see the head so this is a major bug of the camera this bug you've seen this bug on uh, every marshmallow re uh, ROMs I hope they will fix it in the near future because this makes uh, the phone almost too unusable for daily usage so yeah another bug present on marshmallow was the fact that you can't really change the network types sorry got into this so you can change up from uh, gsm slash uh, wcdma and uh, lte to wcdma only for example so it will switch up back and forth between these three automatically but it won't allow you to set up uh, a network mode independently so yep that's uh, pretty much it box everything is uh, working perfectly uh, there are some bugs listed uh, there are some other bugs listed in the XD thread right down below you'll find them uh, but let's get into the design part and I have to say uh, I'm uh, really disappointed because you won't find any kind of customizing settings like uh, setting up the center like the clock in the center and things like this which is really disappointing but you will get the system user interface tuner right down and I think I reckon this option came originally with stock Android so it's not really something that was implemented by the developer of this ROM or something like that so this was actually this came actually with the stock Google edition so you can customize the quick setting as I told you in the previous uh, versions you couldn't but these are the default ones you can add the compass for example you can add a custom shortcut you just can um, uh, browse between these and all these things so if you want a hotspot you'll you'll get it and then if we click back you'll get a hotspot where the heck is it I think you'll have to get out of system user interface manager no didn't change to what either way if I click if I click reset you will get all of them yep there we have it all of them cast you can show embedded battery percentage so inside the battery I don't know if I can focus so you can see you can see actually the battery percentage so status bar 
you can disable uh, these icons for example you can disable Wi-Fi you can disable silent mode cellular data like this so you can make the wall uh, notification more clear so apart from that everything is stock in terms of the design nothing's changed uh, I can't even see the themes applications yep so let's see my themes application themes application so we only do have this uh, application which you can uh, allow which you can customize uh, LED Defy and your driver with um, so unfortunately I'll have to tell you um, I will give it 5 out of 10 so it's a small rank pretty pretty bad rank speaking about this thing but it's an ASP ROM believe me you can do whatever you want with it um, I heard that Exposed was uh, released for Marshmallow so yep go and download it and try it on this build you can customize a lot of things with it but by default it comes with no customizability so that's why I'll rank it 5 out of 10 so yep that's halfway there we'll hope I'll hope we'll get more updates in the future releases so let's get into the performance part as always marshmallow surprised me every time with its smoothness uh, you saw this on my latest two videos if you didn't please make sure you check that out you get into my channel and you'll find them there so I will open some apps in order to show you how fast it is I'll dial a phone number for example 415 and yeah boom 415 dialing sim card has activated the service okay and I do always I do have an option activated from accessibility and it's called high contrast test and as you may see everything is kind of uh, stroked outstroked so even the clock is kind of black stroked out from the outside which makes it more lisible and uh, of course more visible activate call, com call inversion this may improve the battery life because um, that option that option may improve better life because it converts all the white colors into black colors and of course you all know that AMOLED screens love black colors and consumes uh, AMOLED screens consume less power while you know displaying black pixels so regarding about to regarding the performance everything is where it should be everything is small, uh, smooth and uh, put into place okay so we talked about the design the performance is great um, we don't have uh, so many features uh, you do have though the ability to customize these styles but uh, it's a minor thing that was implemented originally in Google edition um, as I told you the first impression matters this wallpaper is kind of common so you won't uh, you won't have the um, idea of knowing that you flashed, really flashed this ROM. Uh, this ROM needs a custom wallpaper by itself. It, it needs an unique wallpaper in order for users to remember how good and how or how bad this ROM was. So yeah, that's a matter of taste. It's a common wallpaper. I won't use it in any ROM. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty much it pretty much it sorry I'm tired I told you um, I hope you like this video mate if you did please thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel thank you for watching guys wicked Android is out bye bye